Welcome, Michael. Now, welcome, Christopher. Let's talk about the Yeti SB66 Carbon, uh, which is your long-term test bike that you've been on for how long now? About a year. Whoa. Mm. Now, that is a very desirable black. It's, a, it's one of the ones that people, people stop and drool over, huh? It gets a lot of attention. It's very, uh, it's very attractive. Mm. It's, it's like a shark. It's a good looking bike and it it's also like a trail is a, shark. <laughs> it's a good riding bike as well. So we've been very fond of this bike for many reasons and uh, we've stuck with it for a long time. And so we started off with a 150mm fork and we thought we'd try a 160. Slacking it out, went back to 150 to uh, realise its full potential. It's a, you thought 160 was too slack? Too slack, too tall, too floppy on the front end. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, through the corners, the 150 mil fork, especially with a nice stiff one, is um, is fine. Now, also rear end, you've changed you changed the rear shock too, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, it came with a CTD damper. Uh, the Fox CTD shock was a little bit harsh. Um, evidently, it had too low a pressure in the boost valve, um, mm. and we went back to the older Fox RP23 shock and uh, haven't haven't looked back. This bike has a uh, very good reputation as um, an all-rounder, but if you had to put your finger on sort of one element of the way that it rides, or one strength, what would you say it is? Um, it's very supple. Mm. Um, you know, you, the carbon carbon frame is, is, is does a great job of dampening a lot of that trail chatter, um, and it's also very efficient. So under pedaling, under climbing, uh, it's, it's pretty much does everything that you want a rear suspension bike with that amount of trouble to do. It's um, a rear suspension bike. It's a rear suspension bike. <laughs> That's correct. So I mean, it, it is it is supple and is it efficient and um, it looks great, feels great. Um, yeah. It's expensive. <laughs> it's expensive for sure. I mean that is something to dwell on. It's, it's uh, almost four grand for the frame. If you're buying it yet, you're um you're expecting a um yeah. a whopping bill. Hand built race bread. Like the sourdough. Mm. It's definitely race bread. <laughs> You've got it set up with a one by ten drivetrain. Yep. You've taken it to the next level and actually ditched the chain guide, huh? I have. But I have dropped my chain once, and it scared the crap out of me. So I might, <laughs> I might put a chain guard on it. And uh, a dropper post too. You've, you've actually just picked up the new Thompson post, which is pretty cool. It doesn't have internal um, routing for a, for a stealth post. Yeah, I mean, I don't see that as a problem. I like the fact that it's. it took about 20 minutes to fit. Yeah, I that's know, right. We've seen people battle with internal posts. There's, yeah. there's a pros and cons to either. The frame doesn't actually accept internal posts unless you start drilling, which is a very bad idea. <laughs> it's not coming out in a 650B version, as far as we know, for no. at, least a, at least a while. I mean, yeah. it, it may, do, may do in years to come, but um, for now, the Yeti's plan is definitely to keep it as a 26-inch bike. And that's certainly another aspect that I really love about it. Like, I, It's going to take a, a lot of time for me to um, whole, wholly adapt the uh, larger wheel bikes, and this bike is a... Um, is a, is a option if you're a 26 inch wheel fan. Yeah, I uh, went to a uh, wider bar and a shorter stem in the same combination, so the, the cockpit didn't change too much in uh, in distance to me. Yeah, because um, you go, if you go wider with a shorter stem, you've, you've effectively kind of got the same reach. Yeah, I urge people to try that, like a wider stem with a slightly shorter stem, a wider, a wider bar. bar with a slightly shorter stem in the same go, time. You could go a girthier stem too, that could. That would be interesting. Yeah. Well, look, with a bike that's so confidence in sparring, like the frame is very stiff laterally, um, you can push it really hard. There's no point putting um, you know, components that don't match that frame's stability. So what we've gone for is a set of all mountain style wheels, and I've gone for a, like a quite a meaty tyre with a stiff sidewall, and I'm running the, the pressures, dump. drop the tyre pressure down to the low 20s, and a nice big leg fork, like mm. this is a, the new RockShox bike, this is a uh, 35 legs, or so huh? mil fork mm. leg, so it's a... Uh, to be bigger than your calves. Yeah, it's massive. Now the switch technology is the suspension system that is used on this bike. It was announced to lots of fanfare, um, fancy graphics and riders. Switch technology! And essentially what it is, is an eccentric pivot that changes direction as the bike moves through its travel. An eccentric, it does this, like that. Uh, and whilst so, doing this. Yeah, whilst, what it does essentially is it increases the chainstay length um, at, the, at the early part of the travel uh, and then which, which is great because it adds a little bit of chain tension to the um, to the uh, way the suspension performs, which gives it a, a bit better acceleration, a little bit more uh, anti-squat uh, when you when you're laying down the power at the start of the travel. Then, as it moves deeper into the travel, the switch changes direction, uh, which gives a nice vertical wheel path that keeps the distance between the um, the dropouts and the crank set more consistent, which means you don't get as much uh, chain target stuff like that. Uh, deeper into the travel uh, and allows you to roll through those bigger hits a little bit better. Also allows you to keep quite a short chainstay because you don't have to fit a link in there. I guess just to sum things up, does this bike deserve its reputation? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, I mean, there's every, every element that ticks the box. It's a highly desirable bike for so many reasons, and I, um, 
I'm a massive fan and I really enjoy riding it all day. But you are going to have to give it back, I'm sorry. So that was the, uh, the Yeti SB66, it's been nice knowing you for one year. Um, it's going to be on eBay this evening. Horrible. Um, no, no reserve whatsoever. Yeah. Buy it now for $4.90, which is how much a Bridge Road Brewers pale ale costs. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> You're a dickhead. <laughs>